So I think I'm going to turn this into like a YouTube series where when I get different questions like this, I can answer that answer their question, but then also post it on YouTube. So if anyone else has a similar question, they can find it online. But let's just jump into what you actually asked. Uh, I'm guessing you're making something in Fusion and you're trying to export it with an alpha, but then also the audio that you mixed in for a transition. So let's actually just pull something up that's similar like that. This is actually a pack that I'm working on the promo for, but let's just go into the logo wipe and we'll bring that in. And I'm guessing this is something similar to what you're doing where you have a transition and then you have an alpha. So let me just prove it to you guys that this is actually an alpha. Just bring in a color and we'll change this quick and we can see that that actually bleeds through. So this video track here, you want to export it, but then let's say you want to add audio to it when you go over to the deliver page. So if we would come over to the deliver page and we do individual clip and then export alpha, what ends up happening with this, where a lot of people get confused is when the render goes over anything, when you're on the individual tab, or excuse me, individual clip renderer, it's going to render the source audio instead of the timeline audio. So there is a little bit of a roundabout way to fix this. So let's say this is what we're working with, right? And we have audio that we want to add in. So let me go grab the audio that I queued up for this. <laughs> All right. So here's my audio and we have a little bit of audio. Okay, great. All right. And let me just cut this off here at the end. So we don't need that. What we're going to do is because currently this track here, when the render goes over, it's going to look at this track and there's not going to be any audio to it um, because the audio track here is, you know, separate. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this all into one uh, clip. And to do that, we're just going to highlight, right click, and we're going to go to compound. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to make a compound clip here. So when the render goes over this, it's going to say, okay, now I'm reading from compound clip three. Is there any audio that goes with compound clip three? And as we can see, we have compound clip three audio. Um, the naming really doesn't matter. It's just that they're all uh, together as one clip. So now we would just go over to the renderer and we'll just add another T into here for test. And uh, we just export here. We leave all these settings the same. Just make sure you have export alpha and we'll click render and then actually render this out. And then we're done with that. So I'm just going to come over to the edit page and now let me go grab that clip. All right. So I'm bringing that clip in. And now if I bring that in, we're going to have the video clip, which will play through obviously really quick. I'm just going to mute the audio for now, but uh, you can see that the actual audio is there. Um, and then we have our alpha. So let me show you that it's actually an alpha going all the way through. We'll just throw another generator down here and change the color to something. And there we go. So now we have our transition with the uh, alpha and audio all in one clip. So there you go. That's how you would export audio that was previously on the timeline that you added into a clip so that you could export with an alpha channel. With that being said, my name's JR and thanks for watching.